Hello and welcome to this history tutorial on Elizabethan government. This is for Edexcel GCSE History Elizabethan England. Today we will cover the role of the monarch, features and the role of parliament, the role of the Elizabethan court and the features in the role of the Privy Council. So let's dive straight in. We will start with the monarch. There were many parts of the Elizabethan government, the court, the Privy Council and Parliament. At the top of all of this sat the monarch. They alone had the power in the land. This was because it was believed they were appointed by God. The monarch was in charge of the church and decided when to call sessions of Parliament. This brings us nicely onto the next feature. Looking at Parliament, it was made up of two chambers, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. As we have previously mentioned, it was called into session by the monarch when it was required and it did not sit permanently. Their main role was to offer advice, pass laws which became Acts of Parliament and to grant extraordinary taxation. These were taxes placed upon people for things like wars with foreign countries. Our next feature was that of the court. This was not the same as a law court. The court was made up of people who lived in or nearby to the palace. It was mostly made up of members of the nobility. They were Elizabeth's key servants, advisers and friends. To be allowed to attend the court was a huge deal. The court became a centre for showing off the power and wealth of the monarch as this was where foreign ambassadors would visit the Queen. Members of the court were called courtiers and could influence the monarch. Our last key feature was that of the Privy Council. This was the most important part of government. It was made up of key courtiers as well as senior government advisers such as the Secretary of State like Sir William Cecil. There were approximately 19 members of the Privy Council meeting around three times a week. Their main role was to carry out the monarch's wishes, but they provided advice and debated current issues too. They also oversaw Parliament. Meetings of the Privy Council were chaired by the monarch. So in summary, when thinking about the Elizabethan government, it's important that you think about the four elements. The role of the monarch, the role of Parliament, the court and the Privy Council. Remember, all power flows from the monarch. To get further help, visit history.outward.com. See your teacher in school or check out quiz.outward.com for those sweet revision quizzes. Until next time, that was a little bit of history.